Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to work on recreating this beach themed bookmark. This was my first ever attempt and I like it but there's some things I would like to change so I am going to try it again uh, and add or take away a couple of the steps I did to see if I can't make it better. So here we go. This is all the material I plan to use today. Some eyeshadow powder or eyeshadows from the Dollar Tree. Some alcohol inks by Ranger. Obviously my mold, which will be linked down below. And epoxy, which I use clear cast. Amazing clear cast by Alumalite. I'll also have a link below for where I purchase. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to separate my epoxy into at least two other containers because I need to make the sand. And this time I've decided that I also want to make the sky. Let's see if that is going to work out for me. So what I do with the eyeshadow is I take a little push pin, and you can see where I've used it on a couple other things. I'm going to take this light blue for the sky. I'm just gonna rub a little bit on there, break up the powder, tap it into the epoxy. Um, I don't know how much I need. I just kind of scrape away until I feel like stopping. It's basically eyeballing it for the most part. Since the sky is supposed to be fairly light, I'm just going to do a little bit more and then I'll stop. Okay. I will take my little mixer. I'll take my little mixer and start thing about the eyeshadows is that it has a lot of little clumps you just got to be willing to you know press on them and break them up they will eventually break apart and uh, give you a smooth color you just kind of have to work on them a little bit okay so those are pretty much for the most part taken out of there and I don't know if you can see that beautiful shiny blue okay so I'm going to use this other eyeshadow that I got from the Dollar Tree this is what my sand is going to be then I just take it tap it in there loosen up the powder tap it in there again I just eyeball there we go that looks like a decent amount. Take my other little mixing spoon, which is dry, it's just got epoxy on it, and I mix this one together. All right. Uh, this mixes a lot easier than the pressed powder does but um you know for a dollar for how many colors do i have here 12 for a dollar you can't really beat that so now we're going to start putting it together what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a little of the sand color on the bottom i probably shouldn't have put that right there but that's okay let me see. I don't like that. I'm going to wipe that off. Okay, so I'm going to start by putting some of the sand color on the bottom. Just pour a little on there. Make sure it gets into the corner. The corners are important. You don't want to let bubbles get into your corners because uh, on the bookmarks 
corners turn into sharp edges and holes. So you definitely want to try and avoid that. Okay. I'm just going to put just a tiny little bit more here. Not sure how much sand I want compared to water and sky. But that looks like a little, maybe about a fourth. Okay. Now we're going to move to the sky. I'm going to take that. Again, make sure it gets into the corner. There we go. I'll use the last little bit I have left. So this is going to be a mixture of mica powder, mica powder, <laughs> and um, alcohol inks. So there's the sky. So then I'm going to take the clear epoxy and I'm going to just lay it down in the middle so that that's where I could work with the alcohol inks. And it will mix a little and blend a little, which is okay. We want blending, we don't want perfect lines. You don't see perfect lines in nature. Maybe you do. Okay, so there's a little gap there. Okay, before I do the alcohol inks, I want to just run the heat gun. Pop any bubbles I can get a hold of now. There we go. So, I'm going to start with the light teal blue because let's say the oceans or the beaches in the Caribbean start with these light, light colors. So we're going to go with that. Then, I guess I'm going to go with this next blue, which is not super dark, but it's... I guess in the middle there, and I'll just put maybe one little squeeze right there. Okay, and then we'll go with the dark blue. Okay. So what I like to do now is I take my push pin and I love using my push pins and I'm just going to swirl these around just to kind of get some wavy action. I'm going to mix it in a little bit to the sky. mix it in a little bit to the sand. Wow. I am loving the way that is looking. I don't like this little dot that fell there. Let me see if I can move it out. There we go. Okay. Ooh, I really love this. Now the question is, do I want to put a little bit of white in the sky to make it look like the sky a couple little clouds even though i love the way this looks right now this is obviously a tutorial and we're trying this together so i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna put some white let's see what happens I'm gonna generate a gently a little drop there maybe one tiny more little drop right here okay obviously those are really white little circles clouds aren't made that way so i'm going to take my push pin just kind of see if i can't the thing about white is that it's a little bit hard to work with 
because it's thicker than everything else. I don't know if I just totally messed this up. Yeah, I think what I need to do is blend the white as much as possible. That actually might look better as foamy um, waves than clouds. But you know what? It doesn't look terrible. I'm just going to give it another little swirl. Well, what do you think? Do they pass for clouds? I love it. I think it looks great. And I need to stop messing with it because if you guys are anything like me, you just keep going and then you end up ruining your work. So I need to just get my hands away from it and let it settle. Once it's settled, the alcohol inks will move around a little bit more. I really should heat this again one more time. I just got to be careful because it will really move the inks and I like the way they look. So one more quick time. There we go. And there you have. It's got a um, cure for about 24 hours. You can see kind of the difference there. It actually ended up being about as much. The colors I did backwards here, I went with the teal on the top, which is where it kind of, and I actually put a little white here, which you can't really see, but to give it a little bit of a wavy look, but I don't want to do that this time. I think I'm just going to leave it exactly how it is. All right, guys. Well, if you ever want to try one of these bookmarks, uh, I have linked below to the epoxy I use, to the molds I use, the tassels where I got my tassels, and um, feel free to leave any questions down below. Please, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and have a super day.